Hello, everybody. I am back for the summer. I'm doing my research with Columbia scientists, and you're not going to believe this. I am on a field camp experience with these guys. It is so cool. And right now, this is day two. I just got here yesterday. We are in Washington State, and we're looking at some really cool erosional features called Los. And these are made pretty much a big glacier came through here, bulldozed all of this sediment. It's at the front of a glacier, just like a bulldozer, and eventually deposited it. And then the wind makes those cool features and ripples in the sand. So we're talking about two agents of erosion. And as you can see, it's pretty, it's pretty awesome. There's also a lot of different wildlife out here. I haven't seen any tigers or anything, <laughs> or not tigers, but uh, I don't know, interesting animals. But I've seen a lot of bugs like this guy. Whoa, oh, hey, oh, where'd he go, where'd he go? He really likes hanging out on me and hopefully he won't sting me. I think he's just checking me out. Um, we also saw some locusts and some really huge grasshoppers. Also, the plants are pretty different too. There's a lot of sagebrush and uh, juniper trees, which I think that one is right there. If you look off in the distance, you can see some of the team I'm working with. So we're trying to figure out where um looking at uh, sediments deposited from the Missoula flood, or a flood that happened many, 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 many years ago and created all these awesome erosional features. So this is like the first part of our tour. We are looking at Laos. And it's amazing how much there is of it. That's another one of our team over there. That's Brendan climbing high. <sighs> and this is a very cool place. It looks like a lot of people like to ride their bikes and stuff through here. But uh, it's pretty amazing. So we are going to be in a lot of desert areas. So I have a lot of sunblock. We're camping the whole time. So I have a lot of stuff I need. My bag's a little overpacked, but I'm really, really excited to be here doing field work for the first time, really, as an almost geologist or a teacher geologist. And uh, I cannot wait to show more to you guys. So stay tuned. We're going to see more awesome erosional features. This is just so beautiful. So this looks and sediment and if well you can't really see but uh it's super fine grained and the sources come from far away it was possibly pushed by glaciers and brought here by river floods and now the wind has sorted it out very fine sediments you can see dark stuff light stuff the dark stuff is probably basalt that is from the local basalt outcrops that are not too far from here. And it is just really, really cool. So I guess it's not loose. I guess it's just a windblown dune. <laughs> I'm learning as I go as well. So wind is definitely a force of erosion or a type of erosion that creates dunes. And we got some dunes here. They are really cool. So, okay. Not Lois. Sand dunes. Juniper dunes. That's what this is. Either way, it's super awesome. And, uh, it's really cool to see what erosion can do to an area. We'll be seeing even more. Sneak River, so 